Hello everyone, in this video I will be painting a model from Freebooters Miniatures. This model is called Curly Anne and is from the pirate faction of their game Freebooters Fate. To, uh, to start off I will be base coating the model black. I'm using an airbrush and Vallejo Model Air Black. For the skin, I'm using a Vallejo Game Color Tan and Vallejo Model Air Burnt Umber. I'm mixing in about 30% burnt umber to the, uh, to the tan color and thinning out the mixture with about 30% water. This is used to cover all uh, the base coat, the flesh of the model. It is important to thin your paint in order to get a smooth coverage and not to uh, leave brush strokes. Uh, because the, the paint is thin, you, and this might require one or two or three coats in order to get a uniform color. Uh, with this particular model, I believe uh, it, took, it took two coats to get the base coat a uniform uh, color. All right, for our first highlight, I'm mixing in a little bit more tan to my original mixture. So it's about 10% burnt umber to model uh, color tan. And I'm thinning out a, a little bit more. I have about 40% water, so it's, uh, it's quite wet. And I'm using a layer technique to um, highlight the model. At this point, I'm painting uh, I'm painting in about 80% of the model, leaving, well, 20% showing of, of the original base coat uh, showing through. As you can see, I'm focusing on the, uh, the abs of the model. There are no uh, real defining features, no sculpted muscles uh, or abs on this model. So what I'm doing is um, trying to create the illusion of, of more muscles than is actually sculpted on the model. I do this by leaving a darker spot in the middle of the torso uh, that will create the illusion of, uh, of abs. You'll see once we get further along in the highlighting. Here I'm doing the first highlight for the face and same as before I'm only covering about 80% of the flesh. Now before moving on to our next highlight, I just want to mention that throughout this painting video I'm using the same uh, mixture. I'm just adding uh, more or, or different colors to it in order to change the tones for highlights. And also I keep adding water so as the, I have the right consistency of the paint. Here I'm adding about 20% of uh, game color dwarf skin to the original mixture still about 40 percent water so it's uh, still very wet in order to uh, to, to, ab to be able to control the, uh, the color more easily here I'm painting the face uh, well I was painting the face but what I wanted to say was uh, I'm I'm covering less of the model at this point so I'm covering about 60 percent of the model uh, making all the underlying work show show through that I've done. It's important to uh, to take your time and uh, just let it dry and come back and hit it again 
uh, and you'll see that the uh, the color will gradually be uh, well, brighter and brighter. For our last highlight, I'm using about 40% dwarf skin to the original mixture, and I'm hitting about 30% of the model uh, very very lightly uh, I have almost 50% water at this point so that's about it for the skin and uh, moving on to the cloak or jacket I'm using Camry Brown and Bone White Camry Brown is used to base coat the jacket I'm mixing in about 30% water at this point uh, I really like the Citadel foundation uh, sets because uh, you're able to water them down and still have them cover great and you still get a smooth finish uh, even if you don't you don't um, water them down too much so this is applied all over the jacket we will later be adding a wash to this So here's the finished base coat of our uh, of our jacket with Camry Brown and now let's move on to some wash. I'm using Devlon Mud uh, from Citadel and the key here is to thin down your wash. Uh, I'm thinning them down with about almost 40% water uh, and I'm able to control the flow of, of the uh, the wash as you can see here I'm able to drag it across the model and making it pool where I needed where I needed to pull other than creating a, a brown filter all over the model uh, by thinning them down by thinning it down you're able to um, control it much more easily so I rather go back and hit it again if I'm looking to uh, looking for something darker maybe I'd rather hit it twice than, uh, than once with a thick wash. So what I'm going to do here is go back all over the buttons with the same wash mixture. This is a great technique. Uh, I usually use this for uh, rivets on a tank. Uh, but I mean, it could, it could be used to highlight any kind of protrusions uh, on, a, on a miniature. And it gives off a great effect once dry and really helps highlight. Uh, protrusions such as these. All right, here's a close-up of the uh, of, of the of the miniature after the, the wash, and uh, let's start off with our first highlight. So, uh, with our base coat of Camry Brown, uh, or with just pure Camry Brown, rather, I'm going back in, and uh, at this point, I have a, a very watered-down paint. This is about 60 or 70 percent paint uh, or 60 or 70 percent water to to paint so it's it's very thin and um, it'll take a lot of coats to show you could do this easily uh, with with um, with a thicker paint but in order to get a really smooth transition between the highlights and the shadows uh, I, I, I like to use a, a very wet paint the more diluted your paint is with water, uh, the more transparent it is. So, the all the underlying color will show through in uh, some way or form. So, as you uh, do more and more highlights, you'll create a smoother and smoother transitions between those highlights. The more diluted your paint is, and with this first highlight, I am covering about 80% of the of the jacket I believe I did about three coats of this first highlight color with just pure Camry Brown because the water so um, the paint is so diluted I have to go back and back again over it in order to get a uniform uh, or basically get the effect that I need For the second highlight, I'm mixing in about 20% Vallejo Game Color Bone White. 
or bleach bone if you want to use uh, games workshops so about 20% and still about the same dilution 60 to 70 percent water to paint and it's just repeating the same process but I'm trying to not paint over all the all of the first uh, highlight I did so instead of painting 80 80 percent of the model I'm painting 60 70 percent of the of the, of, of the jacket. Here's the third highlight. I'm uh, I've mixed in about 40% bleach bone, and just repeating the same process over and over again. And with each highlight, I'm doing two or three coats, depending on depending on how it looks. So I might make changes as as I go, but generally two or three coats because the water and uh, the paint's so thin. Fourth highlight, uh, this is about 60% bleach bone to camera brown. It's, um, it's a long process, but I believe the, uh, the end result uh, will, will, be, uh, will be worth it. Will be worth the time and effort spent into layering uh, like this. For uh, the fifth highlight, um, there's only a hint of a camera brown left, so this is about uh, 80 or 90 percent bleach bone uh, to camera brown. And I'm just doing the most extreme highlights, the edge of the cloak, and. Um, and all those parts that I believe would catch the most light. For our sixth and uh, final highlight, I'm using pure uh, bleach bone or bone white, uh, and, and I'm basically edge highlighting with a very wet paint. Um, so just just trying to make it pop a little bit more. Focusing on the edges and um, the extreme extreme uh, corners and such of of the jacket. And there you have it. The skin and jacket is completed. There's a there's a few misses here and there, um, but this is a tabletop quality uh, paint. I'm thinking you know, this this will be something I'm gonna game with, and I'm not too particular as long as it looks good, you no know, from from afar. So uh, there's a little mark on her left uh, or right cheek there. I, there's a little dark spot there uh, I might go back and fix it with some skin tone and but yeah I mean I'm pleased with the results and uh, I might do more uh, videos painting the rest of the model this is it for uh, this video I thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed it and stay tuned for more bye bye